Speak up English, the key to success. Hey, Emma, got a sack? Yeah, Alex. What's up? I was thinking about questions in English. You know how important they are, right? Totally. Questions keep the combo going. Got any specific ones in mind? Yeah, like open-ended questions. You know, the ones that need more than a yes or no answer. Oh, like what's your favorite movie, instead of do you like movies? Exactly. It makes people talk more. What's your go-to open-ended question? I usually ask, what's your dream job? Gets people talking about their passions. You. I like a skin. What's the best trip you've ever been on? People love sharing travel stories. Nice one. Do you think follow-up questions are important? For sure. They show you're interested. Like, if someone says they love a movie, you can ask, what's your favorite scene? Yeah, keeps the combo flowing. Ever try to skin hypothetical questions? You mean like, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Oh, like what's your favorite movie, instead of do you like movies? Exactly. It makes people talk more. What's your go-to open-ended question? I usually ask, what's your dream job? Gets people talking about their passions. You. I like a skin. What's the best trip you've ever been on? People love sharing travel stories. Nice one. Do you think follow-up questions are important? For sure. They show you're interested. Like, if someone says they love a movie, you can ask, what's your favorite scene? Yeah, keeps the combo flowing. Ever try to skin hypothetical questions? You mean like, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Exactly. Those are fun and spark imagination. What's your answer to that one? Haha, ha. I'd want to fly. How about you? I'd want to read minds. Imagine knowing what people are thinking. That's cool, but kind of scary, too. You ever use rhetorical questions? Sometimes, like, isn't it a lovely day? They're good for making a point. Right. They don't need an answer, but keep the convo light. Got any favorite tricky questions? Oh, like brain teasers? What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Hmm, good one. The letter M, right? Yep, you got it. 
Questions like that are great for breaking the ice. Definitely. And what about tag questions? You mean like, it's hot today, isn't it? They're great for getting agreement or keeping someone engaged. Exactly. They're kind of sneaky but effective. Ever try to skin fun fact questions? Oh yeah, like did you know honey never spoils? Those are awesome for sparking curiosity. Totally. It's all about mixing it up and keeping things interesting. Agreed. And always listen in carefully. What's your strategy for that? Just staying focused and not thinking about what to say next. Really listening. That's key. Makes people feel valued and heard. Absolutely. This was fun, Emma. Got any plans for the weekend? Gonna relax and maybe catch a movie. You? Think I'll go for a hike. Need some fresh air. Sounds great. Let's chat again soon. For sure. Take care, Emma. You too, Alex. Bye. So, Emma, we talked about open-ended questions, follow-ups, and all that. What about situational questions? Oh, like those what would you do if questions? They're great for seeing how someone thinks on their feet. Exactly. Like, what would you do if you found a wallet on the street? I'd try to find the owner. It's always good to do the right thing. You? Same here. It's a test of character, right? For sure. And then there are comparison questions. Ever use those? Oh yeah, like do you prefer the beach or the mountains? They're good for learning someone's preferences. Totally. Helps you understand their likes and dislikes. What about opinion questions? Definitely useful. Like, what do you think about the new restaurant in town? Gets people sharing their thoughts. Yeah, and it can lead to deeper discussions. How about hypothetical questions for creative thinking? Those are fun. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I'd love to visit Japan. The culture and food are amazing. You? Australia for me. I want to see the Great Barrier Reef. Ever use probing questions? Sometimes. They're good for digging deeper. Like, why do you feel that way? Right, they help you understand someone's reasoning. And clarification questions? 
Oh, like, can you explain what you mean by that? Super useful when you're confused.